What is up everybody and welcome back to another video of Frappuccino Sports. Today we're going to be doing part one of a part two of a two part series um, going over the gear that I use when I'm playing Airsoft. So um, today we're just going to be going over the guns of what I use like my primary and secondary um, and the attachments I use for those guns. So I will be going over the um, tactical gear like my pants, um, plate carrier, and shirt and helmet and all that, the, like the apparel of what I wear and use um, in my next video, which should be coming out soon after this one. Excuse me. Um, and let's get right into it. So this is the Elite Force M1911A1 TAC. So it's made by Elite Force and... It's, I've gone over, over this gun in um, a few of my other videos, um, but it's a really nice gun. It works like it should. It puts BBs out the barrel, and it's just, it works very well overall. The only thing that's different about my gun that you won't be getting is the barrel. I went over um, that in my last unboxing video when it showed up, but this is the barrel, um, an extra barrel that I purchased for, um, that's made for the Elite Force 1911, and it's made by Elite Force, so nothing's different, I would say, but it's not what came stock with the gun, and I also like to customize my guns a lot, so I put this cat sticker not sure if you can see that. Uh, the lighting's odd in here. Um, but I put a cat sticker on there because I like to modify my stuff. Maybe you can see it now. Yeah. Um, I like to customize my guns personally. Um, so yeah, I run this on my drop leg. Um, holster and I usually run it with an extended magazine which Elite Force slash Humorex USA also sells. Um, when I am running this as my primary I rarely will use it with the Novridge suppressor. Um, I bought this so that it would look it, make it look really cool and in case I wanted to use it as a primary it would just be um, an extra cool factor and it said it made it quieter but I'm just gonna say right now it has so far has not made this gun quieter I've only seen him seen him advertise Novrich advertise um, that it makes an M4 or a spring um, sniper rifle more quiet or quieter um, but I've not, I have not tested this suppressor on either one of those. As you can see, it's a very long suppressor, and I have it. It definitely increases the weight. But when I'm running this as my primary, I'll sometimes have the suppressor on, sometimes and be running it with the extended mag in, and the mag it, the regular mag it came with on my holster. And usually I won't run it with a plate carrier if I'm doing that. But yeah, very long. But you definitely feel like a super secret spy infiltrating a casino or something when you're using it. So it feels really cool. So the gun itself will come out at $120 is its retail price. The suppressor I think, don't quote me on this, but it, I think it's $40. Um, you can get extra mags like this that, um, from Umarex for uh, 20 I mean $30, my bad. Um, and extra magazines like this, the extended ones, for 35 So it's only $5 extra, and you're almost doubling your magazine capacity. I would definitely suggest these over these. Um, so yeah, that's what I use as my secondary or sometimes my primary if I want to run a pistol. Let's get on to the fun one now. This is what I use as my primary. Let's try it. There we go. So, 
This is the Elite Force um, M4 CQC. It's on their mid-tier um, brand of M4s. It's in their mid-tier, like, it, the ones in there are the M4 CQC, the M4 CQB, and the M4 Carbine. I'm not sure what it's called. Don't quote me on that. But they have a thing of three different guns, and those were the ones that I remember from that. As you can see also on this one, I have the OOF sticker right there. Oof, because that's what they say when they get hit by it. I also have a um, pug dabbing right there. If you can see that. This light I'm using is very direct. So um, I have a pug dabbing right there because why not? And under my light here, you can see a Mario sticker. Um. So let's get into the attachments that I used with this gun. Um, inside the gun, everything is stock. I have not made any internal modifications. Barrel stock, gearbox is stock, motor stock. Everything is stock on this gun. I just have some attachments, obviously, and I will go over those now. Um, the battery that I use is a Valken Tactical 9.6 volt um, 1600 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery uh, it's only like twenty dollars and this is the battery that I've had ever since I first bought this gun um, and it works really well I've had it for I, I want to say a year and a half now, and it hasn't burned out. Burned out. It's given me good results. I've never actually run a lipo or lithium ion battery in my gun, but um, this has gotten the job done. Uh, yeah. So that's the battery I use. Um, this is the stock or butt stock that um, came with it. I I run it fully extended. Um, nothing different about the upper and lower receivers except um, the OOF sticker. I do have a uh, GoPro mount right there if I wanted to mount a GoPro to get some uh, footage of that. Um, but I haven't actually mounted a GoPro on there yet because I want to get the case, the case for my GoPro session um, because the one I'm using the mounting thing I'm using for it right now doesn't have anything to protect the screen and that would really suck if I got it shot out um, what I have up here for my reticle um, I, I think you'll tend to notice on this channel that um, I like to go budget I don't like to spend a money a lot of money if I need to, if I don't need to, and obviously I am a child. I don't have a job, like a full-time job. I don't make that much money, so I don't have that much money to spend. I won't spend as much money as necessary if I don't need to. Um, but enough with that. I that I just wanted to explain that so I could go over my red dot and my red dot protector. I customized it. I put I see you on there. Um, but the reason I talked about how I don't like to spend a lot of money if I don't need to is because both of these came from Chinese companies on Amazon and were the cheapest thing on there. This was only $10 and it was from a company called Hugu. H O O H O U. I mean, sorry, my mistake. H O O G O U. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just call it Hogu. Um, th it works. It 
protects my lens. I've never actually had it shot at. Um, but it flips up and down if you don't want just a clear sight um, without it interfering. And then that's there if you're expecting BBs to come this way. Um, yeah, so, and this is my red dot sight. It is the Feachi Reflex sight. Um, it was like twenty dollars on um, Amazon, and it can be a red dot sight or a green dot sight. Yeah. So, red or green, and it has four different styles of like what kind of dot it actually is. Um, it can be just a regular dot. I don't personally use that. It can be a dot with a circle around it, which is what I usually use. Um, a dot, like a kind of a crosshair with a dot with lines on each side. I don't want to say a crosshair. It's like more the aiming things for most video games. And then something that's kind of just ridiculous. It's supposed to look tactical. Um, it's a dot with a circle around it and the crosshairs. I don't know why. I use it with the um, dot and the circle around it because I've noticed that this gun is accurate enough that if I'm aiming from like 50, 60, maybe even 70 feet away, that if I have the dot on them and all of the circle on them, the BBs will stay concentrated enough that they will always hit the target that is if the dot and the circle are all on the target. So that's going over my red dot and uh, my red dot protector. Now we'll get to this stuff. Um, this foregrip is just some cheap foregrip that my friend got in one of his spring rifles from Amazon. Uh, that's, that's what that is. He just gave it to me. I didn't buy it. I think it's like five dollars I don't know um, this is an interesting one this isn't an airsoft product I took a chance getting this I um, got it from a bike store that I was at so it's made for a bike and it's made to go on your handlebars so when you're riding at night and don't want to crash you can see what's in front of you so that you don't hit it and die <laughs> Um, so, it's the Blackburn, uh, uh, my bad, um, the Blackburn Dayblazer 400 Lumen Flashlight. It's made to go around the handlebars of your bike and then twist so that you can press the button and flash it, but I have it set up like this so that if I'm using my foregrip, I can just get those quick shots. But if I want to light up the room, I can move up here and hold it, not use it like this, um, and hold it like this to stabilize the gun. And I'm going to flash you um, so that you know what it's like to be my enemy. And you can tell why I use this flashlight. If I'm coming around the corner and I see an enemy 30 feet away and I don't want them to shoot me, I'm going to flash them. So that they're blind and they can't see me while I'm putting BBs on them. So if you don't like um, bright lights, look away now. Three, two, one. That's on its strobe function. I'm going to switch the mode now. That's how I usually use it. So you can't see me. I am practically blinding you. If you saw that coming around a corner at 30 feet, you couldn't see it, you'd be blind, and I would be putting BBs on you. That's why I use that thing. Um, it retails for $30, I think. Um, overall, this gun is just really nice. It's always worked for me. I've had it for like a year and a half. Um, this is the Elite Force. M4 CQC. It's what I use as my primary almost all the time, unless I want to go light and run my pistol. Uh, but yeah, so 
I think that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, um, you're going to, because I'm going to do my apparel and gear I wear on my body uh, when I'm uh, in my next video. So that's that, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video if you did. So I'll see you next time, guys.